Good dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting this video, I would like to say something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, then note it and proceed further. And although you have facing any problem or difficulties, please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. Two particles are projected from the same point with the same speed u such that they have the same range r but different maximum height h1 and h2 which of the following is correct here option a is r square equal to 4 h1 h2 option b r square equal to 16 h1 h2 option c r square equal to 2 h1 h2 option d r square equal to h1 h2 this question is asked j 2019 here there is simple things when we project it when get the same range that is the angle to be theta and 90 minus theta two at the two conditions of angle of projection when we get the same range for the same range you know that the range formula of range u square sine 2 theta by g and the height is different here yeah, very interesting things the height is different but range is the same then let us consider h1 equal to u square sin square theta by 2g and second height h2 equal to u square sin 90 minus theta because they are complementary angle so here sin square 90 minus theta upon 2g it is the first equation first equation it is second equation and it is third equation now multiply second and third so we get h1 h2 u square sin square theta 2g again multiply u square 2g then sin 90 minus theta is cos theta so it's a square now it becomes cos square theta okay so rearranging we get h1 h2 u square sin theta cos theta upon 2g whole square okay so here h1 h2 multiply by 2 numerator and denominator then we get u square 2 sin theta cos theta and 2 to the 4 g whole square so now it become h1 h2 u square sin 2 theta 4 g whole square here h1 h2 this 4 square 1 by 16 take out from the bracket then u square sin 2 theta upon g whole square we can see that that is the r so h1 h2 equal to 1 by 16 then that is r and it's a square so final answer is uh, r square equal to 16 h1 h2 let's see which option is correct here option d r square equal to 16 h1 h2 is correct answer i hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely for your success all the credit goes to your hard work but if my video will help for your success, then I will consider myself lucky. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.